Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are Hi. you? Hi, Na and Laura, how are you today? Fine. All right, we missed you yesterday. You were not in class yesterday, right? All right, very good. Okay, so Jonathan, welcome. Miguel Angel, Amilcar, Eric, Joseph, Julio, Daisy, Roxana, Armando, Lydia, Laura, and Ellie. Welcome to another class. This is halfway our third week, right? So next week and we're done. Okay, guys, so yesterday you remember that we were talking about cities and we were talking a little bit about like some features about certain places or cities in that case yesterday we saw words like scenery nightlife architecture right what else did we see yesterday do you remember the other words Custom festivals, um Customs festivals. Customs festivals, very good. Historical sites, very good. Shopping. Right? All right. So everything was because today we're going to keep on talking a little bit about how to describe not only places but everything else, like people or situations or objects or just you name it, all right? So I'm going to take you right now to the... Um, to the platform we're gonna listen to the uh, video not the whole video just a short fragment of the video and then I'll show you a PPT and then I have some exercises for you okay so that's the plan for tonight so because we're talking about adjectives guys and this is what we have on the platform this is just to remind you like to this level of course you know what an adjective is but just to there are words that describe or tell about nouns or pronouns. Remember that a noun or a pronoun can be about anything, people, places, things, objects, whatever you want, right? Or pronouns, like he, she, it, if you want to call it that way. They also make sentences more interesting. It's not the same thing to say, she is my sister, but I say she is my, I don't know, I don't know, cute sister. All right, and then everybody's like thinking, oh my goodness, she's beautiful, right? So it, they make sentences more interesting. Then we have another uh, point about adjectives, which is give details that make your meaning clearer, all right? For example, if there are like many people in the class, we can specify which one, the tall guy, all right? Or the chubby girl, or the ugly, the ugly person, all right? So you give and you give more information, so you give more details so people like, can understand who are you talking about in this case. They also tell you uh, that we can have about um, what kind or how many in this case, all right? So those are pretty much what adjectives do for us. Okay, so now I'm gonna play the audio so we can listen to it, and then we'll keep on listening to this video here on the platform as soon as that's done. We're going to talk about it, then I'll take you to my PPT, and then I'll send you to your breakout rooms, okay? All right, so I'm going to share the audio here. In this lesson, Can by reminding say? you about adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe or tell about nouns or pronouns. They make sentences more interesting. They give details that make your meaning clearer. They tell what kind or how many. Now, when two or more adjectives modify a noun, they must follow a particular order. Adjectives or modifiers follow this particular order. Opinion. All right, be before we, um, we see this or we listen to the audio here, I just want to ask you guys, did you know or do you know about the order the ad adjectives must follow. Hi, Fatima. Did you know that, guys? Did you know that there's an order that you need to follow about adjectives? I did have a wrong idea, but I never followed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, all right. Julio, you said no, you didn't know, Julio? Mm -hmm, all right, very exactly. good. Not exactly, Roxana, all right, very nice. Anybody else? That's really completely new for me. Oh, okay, very nice, that's good. <laughs> All right, anybody else? So Fatima, did you know that when you have one or more, well, not one, but two or more adjectives, they have an order that you must follow? Did you know that? 
Fatima or Idalia or the other uh, students? No. All right. Okay. Jonathan, did you know? Yeah, in a yeah, way? But I never follow it. How come? <laughs> I always get it wrong, so. All right, okay, okay. Very good. So again, it's just a matter of practice. Yeah, that's right, Ellie. They have like, um, there are some adjectives that they describe purpose and you need to know where to place them, all right? Very nice. So I'm gonna take you back to the platform and we're gonna see it there, all right? So um, and we're gonna walk us, like we're gonna walk you through it, all right? So here we have an adjective. This is the order that you must follow, okay? You have a determiner like ah oh, or this or that or those, those, that is a determiner. Then you have an opinion adjective. That is the order, okay? So if you're gonna say something that gives an opinion of a noun, then it must go at the end. Of course, if you have more than one adjective, if you only have one, an opinion adjective, like you say horrible, a horrible movie, all right? That's it, the adjective and the noun in this case, all right? Horrible movie, that's the opinion about it. But if you have more, uh, more adjectives, then that's the opinion adjective is the first one or the last one, depends how you see it, that's how you're gonna use it, okay? Then you have size adjectives, all right? I don't know if you guys can see like everything here. I'm not, I mean, well, we can read it, you know what an opinion is, you know what size is, and then you have examples here like small, big, tiny, huge, humongous, all right? Then it follows an age adjective, all right? So you say young, old, ancient, new, all right? Then follows a shape adjective, then a color adjective, then an origin adjective, material adjectives, purpose, that's the one that Ellie was mentioning, the noun all right so like this is what you are remember the adjectives they modify the noun or the pronoun or the thing that we're talking about or we're referring about so these adjectives they must follow that order all right and then you need to memorize it for you to get it right otherwise you'll keep on getting it wrong all right and that's what like jonathan was saying right i know the order but i don't really know the order <laughs> All right, or I forget or whatever, right? So that's why we don't get it right all the time, okay? I'm gonna give you examples here. Uh, let me see this. Let's just Size, hold on. age, shape, color, yeah. young, old. We're not gonna French, listen to that because French, lunar, we, uh, American, Eastern, Greek. All right. Material. A material adjective describes what something is made from. Examples, wood thing, as in roasting tin. And then the noun. Right. The noun, the figure that is receiving the adjectives. Which now, it gets modified, take a right? look at some examples of sentences using adjective order. Silly, young, right. English so man. This is what I wanted to, I Huge. Wanted to sh show you here. This is a chart where you have all the um, categories of the adjectives, of the order of the, of the adjectives, all right? So remember, opinion is the first one, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose, and then the noun. So here we have, for example, silly young English man. All right, so the opinion is that he's silly. To you, he's silly. The age, he's young, all right? The origin, oh, he's from England, all right? And who are we talking about? The men, all right? So we cannot say uh, a young, silly English man. All right, and that's when we get it wrong because that's not grammatically speaking, we're not following <clears throat> the order that we should be, all right? The other example, Miguel Angel, can you read it please, which is where it says huge? Huge, wrong, metal, uh, ball. sorry, the ball, ball. Ball, yes, okay, huge, wrong, sorry, metal, uh, ball. that's okay, that's okay, all right, thank you. We're yeah. covering it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, all right, I'm gonna actually put it here, all right. Let's see, uh, who wants to read the last one? I mean, the, uh, the small one and the old one. Who wants to, who wants to read that one, guys, please? Volunteers? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do the last one. All right, thank you, Eric, yes. Um, small red sleeping bag. Very good. So you have a small red sleeping bag, all right? You cannot say I have a red small sleeping bag. It should be I have a small 
red sleeping bag. All right. And the last one, Eric, if you mind, if you don't mind, please. Eric. All green wick witch. Yeah, an old an old green wicked witch. All right. So again, the age, witches are old. That's what they say. Fairy tales are what they say. All right. They're usually green. All right. And they're wicked. All right. They're not like very nice. And then what are we talking about? A witch. All right. So that's the order that we have to follow to get it right or to get it grammatically right. Okay. Now, do you have questions, guys, about the chart, which is the same one as the previous one? Do you have any questions or we're okay with that so far? No questions? No? All right, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to show you here. Let me see here, there. Okay, this is the same thing, all right? The order of adjectives and this is just like the same thing and just explain a little bit different. So we have what is an adjective, what it is, which we already did anyway. All right, then we have the order of adjectives, all right? So let's see, um, Daisy, can you read this please? Hello. Hi. Can you read an adjective? Mm -hmm. Yes. An adjective is a word that describes uh, I, I, I don't see uh, a noun. A noun, very good. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. We already know that. All right, order of adjectives, for example. All right, then we have Julio. Do you mind reading this? Uh, for, for example, a black leather jacket. Okay. A leather black jacket. Jacket. A leather black jacket. So leather which jacket. one is correct, guys? The first one, the green. The green one? Sure. Everybody agrees with Julio? The first one is the right sentence? Is that how you say it? Guys, hola, hola. Hello, are you awake? Yes. All right. So the first one is the right sentence? Yeah. All right. Okay. Just double checking. I don't know. You tell me. All right. Let's see. Um, Joseph, can you read this? Order of adjectives. In English, can you hear me? Yes, of course. Yes, I can. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. In English, it's common to use more than one adjective to describe a noun, but this adjective must be used in proper order. All right, very good. Let's see here. Idalia, can you read this, please? Idalia? Okay, there are nice types of adjectives that are usually put in the following order. All right. Uh, Which is like, uh huh. D? D, yeah, for the terminer. O for? O, opinion. Yeah. A, five. For size. Uh -huh. A, 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 for H, yes. S, shape. C, color. Uh huh. Origin. Origin, A, uh huh. Material. P, purpose. Purpose. And right after purpose, we have the noun. For some people, it's easier to remember like dosas comp. All right. Then you kind of like remember what like each order should follow. All right. Or you just kind of memorize it. If you have like good memory, then you say, okay, opinion, size, age, shape, origin, or color, origin, material, and purpose. But so for, for some people, it's easier to follow the, the word dosas comp. All right, as I don't know if you guys know about palm boys, those are like the uh, conjunctions that people know it that like through that name. And sometimes it's easier for them to follow that. All right. So this is the way you guys should use adjectives. Okay. Properly use them. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. Uh, Armando, can you read what it says here, please? Arrange. 
arrange the digit into an order of an object. All right. Uh -huh. Expense, expensive, expensive Italian. Italian All right. Can you tell us the sentence? Properly, we're talking about the car. So what would the sentence be like? Anybody? You need to follow this, all right? Uh-huh. So what's the sentence should be like? Expensive yellow Italian. Italian what? Italian car. Car, all right. Is that okay, guys? Did you listen to what Armando said? Is that an okay sentence? Yes. yes. Yeah? All right. Okay, let's see it here. An expensive yellow Italian car. All right, the determiner would be on in that case or just you omit it in that case, but then you have to follow this, all right? Another one. Uh, we have this one. Who wants to do this one? Oops. Purple, short, and horrible. All right, someone that does this sentence for me. Amilcar, do you want to try? Sure, teacher. Uh, for me, maybe a short, purple, horrible animal. Or <laughs> animal. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> that little figure, right? Okay, are you sure? <laughs> Is there, um, what would be the first one, Amilcar? We have an opinion adjective here. Horrible. Horrible? Horrible. Uh -huh. Sorry, yeah, that would be first. Uh -huh. Horrible. Then, then short, what? Short, size short, or short. color, guys? Remember? Size and then color. Size, right? Size, size is here and then it's color. So horrible. Then we have short, purple, purple. monster or animal monster. or whatever it is or doll <laughs> <Minium>. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the minium, right? <laughs> A horrible shirt, purple, purple, uh, purple minium. Very good. All right. Next one. Who wants to do this one for me? Anybody? Any volunteer? Nobody. What does it mean, wooden? Wooden is made out of wood. Is the material. Yeah, but material. This, what is this? Is this instrumental? I think so. Or tables. I no, think no, they're no, tables. No, no. Aren't like they? A chart, something like a chart. Yeah. All right. So can you try giving me the sentence? Size the first. All right. Uh, or age, age. Uh huh. New. Okay. Um. A format shape. A new round and wooden. Uh huh. Are you sure? Let's see here. Let's let's double check here. All right. So what? what's first? It's a new size. Rhythm. Uh huh. Opinion size age shape. Or, or mm -hmm. material. Um, there is not an opinion. No opinion, all right. So, okay, after no. opinion, no. so no opinion. Do we have a size? Yeah, we have a size. Um, do we have size or do age. we have shape? A uh, new, right? Okay. Uh, age and shape. Okay. Size, uh huh. All right. We have. Um, so, what's the complete sentence? New. Uh huh. New. Wrong. Wooden. Wooden. Okay. Wooden. Chairs. Ta chairs or tables chairs. or whatever they are, right? In this case, they decided to write two because if they have two, two new round wooden oh, tables. Um, yeah. Very good. Too. Thank you. All right. Someone else to do this, please. Guys, who wants to do this one? Uh -huh. A little smart, a little smart American girl. Okay. Little smart or smart little? A smart little American girl. All right. Okay. A smart little American girl. Very good. All right. See, I never follow it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. 
So we have here, uh, let me see, which one is correct, guys? A big red plastic chair or a red big plastic chair? A red big plastic chair. Are you sure? The first a one. Big, uh, yeah, red, the red plastic, plastic chair. chair. The first one. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. very good guys you see they sound i mean that's why sometimes when you put it this way it's a little bit difficult because it's okay <laughs> right but if you follow the order then you, you realize it's not okay and the answer is yeah we got it right okay this one a, a blue fancy sailing boat. I love this topic. All right, and the other one, a blue sailing fancy boat. Which one is correct? A blue fancy sailing boat. Okay, you sure? Yeah, cause so one million I can't dollars, you're okay, separate you're sailing sure? from boat. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, yeah, that sailing is the purpose, right? All right, a fancy blue sailing boat, very good. Oh, it was the last one that wasn't shown. There's three this options. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I didn't show that one. All right. So here, but we had the other one, the previous one. All right. So here we have, there you go. Then we have the three options. Which one is the correct one, guys? An expensive but cheap golden necklace. The first one. Yeah. What about the rest? What do you guys say? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, first the first one for one million dollars, guys. <laughs> no, I think I don't think. No. Big expensive. And well, it's expensive. Uh -huh. The yellow one. I think it's the yellow one. The yellow one. Ah, all right. So you take or you lose a million dollars here today. All right. <laughs> All right, an expensive, ah. yeah, because this is what? What kind of uh, adjective is this, guys? Expensive what kind opinion. Of, opinion. It's opinion. an opinion, right? For some of yeah. you can be expensive and for some of us can be not expensive, all right? Yeah. Adjective, very good. All right, yay, very good, very good. Okay, and that's it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, this is it for this one, all right? So now, guys, this is what I'm going to do. I need to take your picture anyway because of the report of the attendance. This is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to send you to your groups. All right, so I'm going to give you, well, you're going to take pictures of two worksheets. Let's see how much you advanced, all right? But they are following this adjective order, all right? So it's a little bit tricky here. But the more you practice, the better, all right? So that's the idea for you to be in class anyway. So here we go. So let me see here, let me find them. Hold on, let me find them, hold on. It's there, here. Okay, here we go, I found the first one. Guys, can you please take a picture of these? Let me know when you're finished. Just from one to 15, right? Yeah, go right ahead with one. You cannot see the rest because there's, it's from one to 20, but if you cannot see them, it's fine unless you I wanna take the other like picture. All right, then I'm gonna, well, take the picture and then I can like put it up a little bit and then you can take the other picture. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna move it. Not that much because otherwise you will see the answers. <laughs> Move it a little more. <laughs> no, that's fine. There, <laughs> no more. <laughs> Let me know when you're finished so I can show you the other worksheet. Finished? Yes. All right, okay, so there's the other one. Just let me get it here for you. This one is a little easier because the, uh, the chart is there, so that's cheating. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Take a picture of this one. Let 
Don't get confused where it says number, it can be the determiner or the, uh, the number. Okay, can I move it so you can take the rest of the picture? Okay, thank you, Ellie. All right, and then at the end of this one, I want you to think with your partner two sentences using as many adjectives as possible. Got it? Got the pictures? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to send you right now to your groups. All right. So you can start working on both worksheets. Try to like work as much as you can.
Angel. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Oh, I... you had a blackout. Yep. All right. I'm going to send you. Who Do you remember who you were working with? With Roxy. Roxana. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Cute leader cottage. Cottage, a cottage. What is the meaning of cottage? Cottage is como cabaña. That's right. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Lydia. It's me. <laughs> I scared you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's you. Hi. You guys finished yeah. first, uh, the first one? This is the second one you're working with? No, it, no, no we no. had some problems. So ah. had some problems with the internet. Okay. Down, so. Oh, okay. So. No, 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 that's okay. But you're working. That's what's important. Okay, very good. Okay. Keep on working. Okay, Thank you. Thanks. Okay, welcome. French writing desk. Because writing is the purpose of the desk and French the origin, all the age and, and the, what we're talking about. Okay.
Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, hi. Were you able to finish? We were yeah. finishing the last two. All right. Okay, very good. So if you notice here, I just share with you the answers of the first one of the 20 exercises or the 20 seconds. So I'm just gonna uh, read over them and then you kind of check if you have it right or wrong. So number one is we wanted a great metal table. Number two, they bought a new red car. Number three, she went home and sat on her, on her comfortable old wooden bed. He bought four, he bought a, fa a fabulous British woolen suit. Five, they have black Dutch bicycles. Six, he wants some really delicious French cheese. Seven, a pretty young girl walked into the room. Eight, he has a lot of interesting old books. Nine, she bought a new red plastic lunchbox. 10, he is looking for a stylish black leather bag. 11, she dropped the beautiful old place and it smashed. 12, I want an amazing green silk dress. 13, she drank hot black coffee. 14, he saw an old French writing desk. Uh, 15, they stayed in a cute little cottage. 16, I visited a spooky ancient German castle. 17, he has a beautiful old silver ring. 18, we ate some round green English apples. 19, I need a comfortable computer desk. And 20, they went on holiday to a beautiful small wooden cabin. All right, so those are the 20 uh, sentences of the first exercise. And then I think we have time two. So how did you guys do? Okay, excellent. So-so? Yes. Yeah? I have a doubt in number four. Uh-huh. So it, it, why is not British? The solution was uh, hip bought a fabulous British wooden suit. Uh -huh. Isn't British the origin? So how do you, how did you have it? I thought uh, woolen is the material. And right. I thought woolen was before the origin. Uh -huh. Right. What about the rest, guys? British is the origin. So that's why you get then material. And fabulous, the opinion. Fabulous British. Fabulous is the opinion, right? And what, what did you say, Eric? Uh huh. And woolen is material. Right. Material. Yeah, the same. British, yeah, yeah, yeah. British yeah, yeah. is the origin, and yeah. woolen is the material. So that's right. why. Mm -hmm. next two. All right. All right. So here we have the other one. Well, what time is it? Hmm. I'm going to share the answers tomorrow because I really need to go. I have the other class. But uh, were you able to finish that one, guys? The, the last one? The other? Um, the second one? No. All right. So no. what? If, no. if you did not finish it, this one right here, uh, if you were not able to finish it in class, maybe you can work on it like tonight. So you come and we can check it together in the class tomorrow. Okay? Right, thank you. All right, guys, thank you again for being an, in another class with me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a nice night. Bye. See you. Nice thank you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.